tap to talk Designer is the web-based application that you use to personalize the flow of pictures and sounds on your child's tap to talk There are four important parts of tap to talk Designer. tap to talks albums, pictures, and sounds. The tap to talk section is where you keep a collection of albums for a particular child. If you purchase Tome Edition, you have one tap to talk and Designer will always open to that tap to talk. If you purchased Pro or Agency, you can create as many tap to talks as you purchased. Tap to talk Designer displays the albums for a particular tap to talk. From here, you can build a new album, copy an album that has already been created, or edit an album that you have already built. If you want to build a new album or edit an album, you go into Album Outliner. Let's click on Edit and look at the home album that John has already designed. Album Outliner is the heart of Tap to Talk Designer, so let's look at all the sections of the screen. On the top left part of the screen is a copy of what your child will see on their Tap to Talk. When you click on a picture, it works just the same as if your child touched it on their Tap to Talk. I'm hungry. In the left pane, you build the album by arranging pictures into an outline. To add a picture to the outline, just click on one of the pictures from the library that are displayed in the middle pane. It will get added to the outline. You can easily move pictures around the outline. This is covered in more detail in other album outliner tutorials. Tap to Talk Designer comes with hundreds of pictures that you can use to build an album. These are in the standard library. Assistix plans to add more pictures to the library in the future. As you can see, there is also a user library. This is your own private collections of pictures and photos that you have added to the system. In the top section, you name your album and give it a description. You have some choices about how it gets saved, which will be covered in another tutorial. Now let's take a look at how you add pictures to Tap to Talk Designer. Whenever you want to add new pictures to the library or add sounds to a picture, you can go to the picture library. A Tap to Talk picture is not just an image. In the picture library, you individualize exactly what your child sees and hears on the Tap to Talk when they touch a picture or see the text. When you add your own pictures or copy a picture from the standard library, you can name it and import, record, or select a sound already in the system. When you save the picture into your library, you can save it under any category name that you choose. You can add as many categories to the user library as you want to help you organize your pictures. Now let's look at the sound library. Sound library lets you first record sounds, then later add them to the pictures. It makes it easy to reuse the same sounds on lots of pictures. For example, you may want to use I want a sandwich on the picture of a hamburger or a regular sandwich or a submarine sandwich. You can also build albums and pictures without ever using the sound library. It's there for your convenience to store sounds you want to reuse. That ends the overview to Tap to Talk Designer. Each of these areas is covered in more detail in other tutorials.